It is Wednesday here. Wednesday, I think the 21st of February. I kind of lose track of the dates. Wednesdays, I don't go into the shop. I try really hard not to go in. I often do, like last week, I was in there the whole day with reps and just doing stuff for the Gosling quilt release. But today I am not going in. I've been for a swim and a shower um, after like I swam at Bar Beach, which is local to me. It's a beautiful beach. I share photos of it sometimes. I, what else do I do? Have I done? I, oh, I sat in bed and I sewed for a bit. Like I got Otto off to school and then I went back to bed and then I dealt with recalcitrant teenagers who don't want to get to school on time or don't, like, like we're adults or we're nearly adults. Just like, yeah, but you're still dependent and I still have to do stuff for you. So maybe you could come to the party on some stuff. So if that's you, you're not alone out there. I know my Tuesday stitches, we love to talk about how interesting parenting teenagers can be. Anyway. I have just picked up off the front porch my new thank you cards, which just came just in time. I think we've got like 10 of them left at the store. So I'm gonna turn you around and show you what the new ones look like. So I went with a little bit of a different design this time. Of course, it's got the Gosling quilt and like how I'm obsessed with stitching on there. Beautiful photo that I really liked of the shop. But there's our thank you card. We always write a note to say thank you to every purchaser online and right since the beginning since I can't remember what the first thing I did was but I've always said we like to party and by party we mean stay home and so because to me that is a party although tonight I'm out to dinner with some girlfriends and they're non-stitchy girlfriends so like what is going on there um anyway I'm going to show you some stuff that I'm working on in my sewing room this is a little stitched piece that I've been working on for quite a while actually. Like, so there's a lot of um, invisible stitching that stitches all those pieces down. And then I've just added some little, tiny little bits of red stitching into it. It's kind of like a fabric collage or a fabric patchwork or a lace patchwork. I really love it. I think I'm gonna frame it. I think it will look really nice on like, um like a craft paper, kind of that brownie kind of color underneath so that you see that kind of come through under bits of the lace. Anyway, so now I fancy myself as a kind of stitching artist, I guess. I don't know. I think I struggle with um, like calling myself creative. Although a couple of the ladies in the shop yesterday were saying to me, you don't teach us how to make a quilt, you teach us how to lean into our creativity. And that was just the biggest compliment that they could possibly have given me. <clears throat> um, so this is what my sewing area is looking like. It's kind of okay. That's because <laughs> I've just moved everything over here. I'm gonna sit on that chair and I am going to work on, I have quite a few projects. I'm working on, um, my new quilt and this stitching here which that's what I did in bed this morning sorry I'm just putting stuff out of the way um and all I really did was I didn't know what to do here but I quite like what I've done there where I've brought the black of that fabric through on top of the doily and then I've done this flower with just a satin kind of a loose satin stitch and a couple of leaves here and I will do some more oh and the other thing I did was I outlined the leaves in here that um I hadn't done previously so now I'm thinking about I kind of want to merge up here and the reason why I want to do that is because you can see underneath just here the fabric line of this green fab like the flower fabric underneath the doily. Now I have lined that up with this line of the lace work. So it's kind of mostly hidden, but I'm still not particularly happy with that resolution. So I guess I'm gonna work on that a little bit maybe. I do really like this section in here. I think that looks really pretty. There's some bits like here that aren't, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get that to focus, aren't finished. And that's cause I'm gonna add beads into there when I bead this up at the end. So I've got that 
I've got, I'm going to work on some needle churn applique of this lovely quilt that I'm working on. And then, pretty sure I've got something else here. Maybe I've just got those two things. On oh, look, and I've made myself a salad for lunch. I have to drink that water before I'm allowed to drink my Diet Coke for the day. I'm down to one. But like in full disclosure, look, I've got a little pack of chips over here that I found in the cupboard that hadn't been devoured. And I'm going to devour them. Got the iron basket because only iron quilty things. And I've got some fabrics like I need to put back into my stash because I have brought them home from the shop. They're some of the ones that I have collected from the shop. This one I'm going to... It might be the backing for that. Although I had did have something else in mind for it. Mm. Anyway, all the things. I've got some vintage fabrics here that I want to go through and work out what I'm doing with them. So I am going to set up my iPad and do some stitching on this seat on my what is my weekend because I work a Saturday and I'm pretty exhausted. I just wanted to say that of course I'm meant to be doing things like cleaning the house and what else? Doing washing but I've just decided I'm not doing that today. Our house is a disgusting mess. I've just seems to have given up on cleaning. Um, I've only got a couple of hours because it's 12.30 now. Otto will be home like just after three and I've got after school activities and Tom's violin lesson and just all those kind of things before I head out to dinner. I haven't thought about dinner. I have keep requesting that my older children help with dinner. Let's see what they um, come up with. I hope it doesn't fall on my husband, but it may well do. Or maybe like they'll have toasted cheese sandwiches for dinner. I'm not sure. Anyway, so I'm meant to be cleaning as well. This is how people say to me all the time, how do I get sewing done? I've just given up cleaning my house potentially. I don't know if I'm the only person that does this, but I make deals with myself that if I do something I'm not loving, then I get to sit and do something different. So I need to organize my threads and both my sewing bags. I have two because they're a big mess. I haven't worked out how to store my threads easily yet. I'll show you what I am doing, but once I've done that, I get to sit and do needle turn applique and watch a movie. I probably won't be able to find a movie because despite wanting to watch 5 million movies, if I have time to watch a movie, I can never find one. I think I'm not alone there either. But um, I'm going to turn you around and show you my thread mess and my, my two sewing bags. So I have two, one for like quilting and one for stitching. And so I have to put everything back into the right bags and stuff. I find it's not working that well for me. So I probably need to look at changes, but I don't want a massive, massive bag. So at the moment, what I am doing is I have a little tin here that is meant to have my pinks and reds, etc., in it. But like, you know, I've got things like one of my rulers with thread round around it. Um, pin in here, which I'll grab out. It's not, it's not very organized at all, except that it does kind of contain those warmer colors. So that is good. And then I have this one that is meant to just have the cooler colors. So, and take the yellows. The oranges out but um maybe the yellows were meant to be in here there seems to be a lot of them and is that it's just really not working i also have in here that's my it's my quilting 
not my quilting, my the cotton that I do kind of handwork for quilting with. And then I've obviously got a red, that's a Pearl 12. I keep hearing them called Pearl A. Is that what they're meant to be? Are they called Pearl A, not Pearl? Oh, and I found another one of these, which is excellent because I'll add that into something. Um, anyway, this is... Should the purple... Oops, some rubbish. Should that be in the cools? I don't know. I really struggle with purple where it lives or what's going on with it. I think this is going to go into the warms. And this is pink ah uh, this one see look how i think that was meant to be wound around one of these but it's not it doesn't stay or i'm not sure what i'm meant to be doing with it to make it stay i guess anyway this is where i'm at with this tin not really working very well then on top of that i also have a basket so in this little move that out of the way in this little basket i have um silk ribbons which i kind of i don't do like silk ribbon embroidery but i do use those sometimes i've got all my beads in here and all my wools as opposed to cottons or silks and i've got a little bag in here that's my quilting threads currently that i'm using and they must be in here. I'm not even sure why. Probably I used one of them for something. So this basket, kind of that works, I guess, okay. Whereas this one and this one, which is now falling everywhere. So I don't know. I did really like that, but maybe I'll have to have something else. I don't want the cards. I, I want old storage. I like the vintage kind of vibe of it, I guess. I have a little zipper pouch that I made at some point that I like to put all the little bits in and I look in there first when I'm looking for a thread in case I can reuse any of that. Put a pin in over there. So any tips would be appreciated. Then on top of that, I'm just gonna put that to the side for a sec and put that into the rubbish. I have Two bags that some green thread are meant to there's the things for those this one here is meant to be for stitching as opposed to quilting these little scissors live in here I've got a pencil and a pencil sharpener a kind of this funny little needle threader that my friend gave me it's got a little light on it. I don't even know how to work it, but it's very cute and I like it and I keep it in there. Um, and this is that same Metla cotton that I like, but in the ivory color, this one's Jew, this one's ivory. And that lives in there. So, oh, and my big needle book, which I think I shared when I made it. I made this with my friend Vicky. So that has lots and lots of needles in it. And that lives in there as well. And that's my stitching. My quilting bag has more stuff in it. Because I'm a quilter, I guess. At the moment, it's got all sorts of stuff. A couple of spare glue sticks, although no actual glue pen. I wonder where that is. It's over here. So it goes in there in case I need it for something. I have managed to lose or misplace at the moment the protector for these Karen K Buckley scissors, but they live in there. I have a styler pen, I have a white clover pen. I I picked these up because they were pretty, and I'm a sucker for things like this. I had them in the shop. They're all gone. They're quite a good pin. I like the colours of them. I think they were from Riley Blake. Um, they're quite handy, but I'm not sure why they're in here. 
I think because I'd run out in my box of my little clover applique pins, which are my favorite, and some needles. Um, that is just going to go in there at the moment because I'm going to do some stitching. I've got some spare number, I've got spare number 10s, which is my, the needle that I use for anything I'm doing by hand except hand quilting. I've got a needle threader. I only use mine at night. Um, sometimes when I'm really tired and I can't see very well. I have to have a flat surface to work them. I've got a bias tool. I find those useful. I've got my thread, an unpick, my good ones in at the shop. I much prefer the clover one. I've got a hero marker. I use that a lot. That is a spare, um, what is it, a spare? A spare um, pin cushion. In fact, I've got two spare pin cushions. So you just can put those up the back. They end up all over the place. I like them. This is a little, little zipper pouch that I made and I just put my um, safety pins in there as I un when I'm unbasting a quilt, I've got a clover thimble for when my fingers are really sore, but I actually don't like a thimble very much. I need to be able to feel what I'm doing. Also have a pencil sharpener, although no pencil in there. So, and a pencil. It's my needle minder. So I have this little tin that has um, quick clips in there and I also have some stick on um, thimbles and that if I get, get desperate I use those better we sell some of those in the shop I store mine there when I'm using it I quite like that my needle minder just sticks onto there at the moment that's quite handy for me I have this little needle book which seems to be kind of not very have very many needles in it and I spilt water on it and rusted it and kind of, which annoys me. And also it isn't, like I really like this, but I'm loving my big ones that I'm making. So I might swap that out, although those are at the shop so that, you know, people can see them. So this, and I will, I'm going to go and sit down and re-put the needles into my needle book and the pins into here and swap out this pin cushion which is china for this one because this can get squashed around and find a little spot for this little I guess that goes with my vintage textiles because that's off a tea cozy and I just think they're so cute anyway I'll come back and show you what I might have done on my applique So I thought I might show you, it's almost three o'clock, so Otto's gonna be home any minute. And I just thought I would show you what I achieved while I did some stitching today. This will probably be the, I'll probably end after I've shown you what I've done. Cause then I've got after school activities, violin lessons, out to dinner. That'll be the day I would say. So I was working on the border of this new quilt. I haven't actually finished the internal applique, but I wanted to see how it looked. I was wondering if it was going to be too busy. I actually think it's looking really nice. So this quilt's got a number of elements to it. A needle turn applique is just one of them. But I think that's pretty. Oh, let me know what you think. And then I had dug out this beautiful linen tablecloth that I thought I was going to put on the back of my gosling quilt. But I've just been admiring it and thinking, well, that's not going to work because the hand quilting on it will kind of interfere with the prettiness of the embroidery. So now I need to rethink what I'm putting on the back of my gosling quilt. I really hadn't thought that through very well. I was going to use this tablecloth. It's smaller than the quilt and I was going to mitre a border around it. Like, so I put a border on it with mitered corners, but I don't think that's going to actually work after all. So that's a bit frustrating. 
and then oh one other thing happened while I'm just gonna move this so I don't step on it um while I was stitching so I have a little stitching set up very sophisticated and I got this some mail got delivered oh, it's just fallen over there this absolutely stunning toaster cover got delivered so you all know I'm a sucker for a daisy but look at that isn't that just divine and best thing double-sided so really thrilled with that delivery so that's what I kind of do in a couple of hours on my day off like I did a lot of stitching actually today for me. Um, not a lot of stitching for me. I had a lot of time to do it, but now I'm gonna run around like a headless chook and get some stuff done because I've ignored, ignored it all day. And you know, if you're a mum, you know that that can't really happen. So back to it. I hope everybody's having a great week, not a great weekend. Happy stitching.